guys, it's Surfcast in the Island, and today I'm going to be talking about how to properly snell a hook for a striped bass chunking rig. Um, personally, I don't really use bait in terms of uh, striped bass fishing off the beach. Um, from time to time, I will if the situation warrants it. Um, when I use bait, it's more for the um, you know dog days of summer when we get those dusky and brown shark runs along our uh, local South Shore beaches. But uh, neither here nor there. This is what the rig looks like. This is a uh, 8 dot Gamagatsu. You can use anywhere from a 8 to 12 aught um, octopus hook. And you have about a foot, foot and a half liter of 60 pound uh, cigar connected to a spro swivel. And you can see that's the snell right there. If you try to do the fingernail test, it's not, you can't even get in between each weave. And, um, Personally, I like snelling because it has a more natural presentation to the bait um, as opposed to using a clinch knot and whatnot. It, it sits better on the bottom and I just feel as a whole the knot's a lot stronger. Um, so in terms of snelling the hook, I'm going to be using 50 pound Andy Mono. And you're going to want to take about two and a half, three foot length of leader only because a lot of line, a decent amount of line goes into snelling. Trim the tag end. Now, you're going to take your 8 dot Gamagatsu, take one tag end, enter it through the eye, like that. You want to leave about, you know, that much line, I'd say about 8 to 10 inches, and you're going to make a small loop right underneath the shank. So now, your line is pointed towards the back throw to the hook and you have loop at the bottom of the shank all you're gonna do now is wrap that part of the loop around the shank of the hook two eight to ten times three four Now, with your thumb and index, you're going to pinch the shank of the hook like that. And now you're going to have the rest of this loop that there's not much left. You're going to pull the tag end that's parallel to the shank like that. Now, these snells are locked in place. All you're going to do is pull the other tag end up towards the eye like that. Wet it. Pull both tags. Trim this tag end as close as you can. And that's how you do your snow. Now you can see it has a very natural presentation. And the harder you pull, the tighter that knot's going to get. If we do the fingernail test, there is no getting in between that knot at all. So again, this is uh, my personal preference in terms of snelling hooks. There's other methods and other tutorial videos out there, but this is what I like. In addition to why I like a shorter leader as well, um, if the fish are feeding on an outer bar, let's say, um, you could reach it a lot more. I feel like with the longer leaders, the 24s, the 30, 36 inch leaders, your uh, sinker on the fish finder tends to tumble with that longer leader and you won't get as efficient of a cast and you won't be as efficient in catching these fish if they're further out. Um, without further ado, uh, this concludes this video. Um, if you guys liked it, please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you.